Hey everyone. Hi. Hello. Hello. So <laughs> we're going to be playing some short pieces that you've sent us and we're going to stitch them together so that they are grouped into a longer piece. And we're going to decide the order of those just before we play them to make it quite spontaneous. And we're just going to give you a little insight into how we're going to approach playing the pieces because they're not traditional notation in any sense. Yeah, so the, the pieces are grouped because they were all quite short. They are um, grouped in some sets. We are going to play them um, in that, in that, in sets. So each one of them has a lot of squiggles and dots and very creative ways of expressing, uh, expressing music. Um, but obviously that, that can present a bit of a challenge or it leaves a lot up to our interpretation. So for instance, on, I'm going to be playing trombone in these and um, I can see some of them have two lines going on horizontally at the same time. That's probably because in the learning resource I put some multiphonics in so people or the children are aware that um, it can do two notes at the same time. But that's going to be quite fun to figure out uh, whether it's going to be voice on top or the note on top. Um, yeah, it looks like a, a fun challenge at least. Yeah, we're probably going to do some experimenting before deciding on the final shape. Yeah, yeah it would be interesting to see how we can marry the two, our ideas and your ideas, or the, the graphic things that you sent in and the sounds that we make on our instruments. I think it'll also be a bit of a challenge for us to, because we're doing this over Zoom, um, and quite a lot of the scores have things that are happening at the same time, like dots that line up and we all have different internet speeds and, and all of that kind of thing. Um, so they will stitch it all together at the end. Um, we probably won't know how it's going to sound until that point. <laughs> so that's yeah, a very different kind of challenge to doing it live. Yeah, that's part of the fun. <laughs> yeah, it's going, be, it's going to be exciting. There's also some fun lines that go backwards um, they don't all go sort of forwards in time, some of them go backwards, so I'm, I'm just thinking about how I might try and, yeah, try and play music that seems to wind back on itself. I suppose we've got to um, find a way to make sure that we're not playing them all with the same, we're not sort of pushing our voice onto it too much, and we're, mm. we're differentiating between the different um, shapes, like we can't play every squiggle as just me doing a glitch up and down. Um, I think, yeah, we've got to find some music in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what are your what are your thoughts after doing it all? Um, how was how was it? Yeah, I mean, I definitely in I did enjoy the process, and it was fun to have the chance to do each piece like a couple of times. One as a just to test it out and like acting as a bit of a rehearsal and then seeing how different it might have been the next time. We usually use the second or third take anyway. But um, yeah, it was fun just to kind of be able to have those other ones to see what path it might have taken um, and yeah, get to know the pieces a little bit. What about, what about you? It was great fun. I really enjoyed uh, digging deeper into into every shape and sort of really trying to um, to follow it um, find different ways of communicating across the Zoom. It has been challenging but also fun. It was nice to it. It gave a sense of playing together. So I think um, it was nice. Yeah, to do with the shapes, like we initially planned that maybe each individual piece would be about 10 seconds or something. But I think all of us found that the um, I don't know, they all had a bit more time in them than that. And each one took a bit more time to kind of get through if you wanted to add in all the detail and, and explore it properly. So that was kind of interesting. What it looks like. Yeah. The lines on the page it can take a bit more. Mm. Yeah, it was nice to have a collection actually on, on one page because um, some of them I think kind of fed into each other. Some looks similar or there's some similar shapes you know some especially kind of dips and hills and things that seem quite common um it's also really interesting how a lot of them actually looks quite linear um and kind of building that into the process um but maybe not as well it's quite interesting discussing that and how we can think about looking at them in different ways because they're graphic rather than you know, standard notation mm. yeah and and also what was nice to have them all uh, together in sets, I think it helped to to decide or or give each individual piece a, a bit more of a character because we we wanted to every piece to have have its own personality or its own something distinct about it. So I think it was uh, putting them all together on a page or like in in different sets. I think it um, it helped that yeah. I think to make I, some decisions. Yeah. I think one thing that was definitely a challenge was um, being able to move smoothly from one individual piece to the next, like making sure that we were communicating that easily uh, and sort of visibly over Zoom, because it's yeah, it can be hard to keep your place and keep your place with the other person at the same time. And I definitely found having put having stitched the recording together, there were some bits where I was sure I was following you directly on the camera, and then I hear the sounds back in there they're disjointed but I don't think that detracts too much from it and there are other times when it's more clever than I had remembered so <laughs> it's another yeah, I like yeah I like that process actually because it's kind of like we're, we're in a time where we can't play together so actually embracing the latency and you know you, you know there's only so much that we can communicate through zoom but we can still hear each other and we were able to kind of feed off each other and respond in different ways um it was nice to kind of embrace that. Cool. Yeah, sometimes it was uh, it was funny because uh, just to figure out where we are, there was there was no way to to actually check if we are in the same place until pretty much we had some some points in which we decided maybe to take a little bit of a break or to have we decided on okay I'm going to do this sound so this would be a cue. But sometimes it was just very, very much a chance whether we meet at, at the end, at the same place or, or, or not. So that's what I've been missing maybe from, yeah, uh, it would be a lot easier to do when, if we would be in the same room, but <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed listening to them anyway. <laughs>